We now know 24 Cleveland County Sheriff's Office employees are out of a job in Norman. The sheriff says they are a result of budget constraints. News Force John Hayes spoke with another county leader who says they feel this was preventable. John. Kevin Jolene, county commissioners voted a few months ago to bail out Sheriff Chris Amison to the tune of more than $3 million, accusing him of overspending his budget. He got a budget increase for this current fiscal year and was just reelected, but these layoffs came anyway. Well, there were countless red flags. Cleveland County uh, Treasurer Jim Reynolds now telling News 4 he's disappointed. Following this announcement Friday, Sheriff Chris Amison's office is implementing layoffs due to budget constraints. A statement saying the decisions were not made lightly. 24 employees were laid off, six were just reassigned. If he had ever stopped to take a breath and listen, um, I think a lot of this could have been avoided. The sheriff's spending habits are no stranger to criticism. In June, county commissioners had to find emergency funding to bail the sheriff's office out, saying Amison overspent his budget. To say that I have gone through my budget and the amount of money is irresponsible. Amison told me a few months before that the perceived issues were a communication error. His budget for the new fiscal year only starting three months ago, an 8% increase on top of an upcoming $300,000 grant the attorney general's office says can be spent to strengthen operations. I am curious of why it took him three months, we're three months into the fiscal year, to make this decision. If he had done this uh, once he'd received his budget, the first part of July, I think a lot more jobs could have been saved. We reached out to Amoson Monday to get his side of the story, but days after the major shakeup, his office says he wasn't available. It's heartbreaking to know that this was preventable. Julie Tipton challenged Amoson for the job, getting 33% of the vote in June's primary. She's also a former sheriff's office employee who says from what she's heard, the reaction internally has been sour. The morale is at an all time low. Um, you know, people don't know if they're going to have a job tomorrow or not. Both the treasurer and Tipton tell me they hope these layoffs will be enough for smooth sailing moving forward. But with how quickly they're coming into the fiscal year, it's too soon to know one way or the other.